What's going on? Yo, what's going on? People, people, it's your boy, Brian B, and I am back. Yes, that's right. It's that show that was on like a month ago, right? It was about a month ago. Yo, we was on for how long? We were on for about six months. That's right. Started in June, ended in 2020. Excuse me. Now we're back. Now we're back. Yo, it feels great to be back with you guys. Welcome to season two of the B Line. Yes, the B Line podcast. You understand? We changing it up a little bit this season. Yo, we weren't gonna do the whole season thing. I kind of explained it in the, uh, you know, the final video of season one. But you know, things happen. You know, there was a lot of stuff going on with the end of the year, and everything was kind of like you know coming all together. So you know, I had to take a little break. I had to kind of step back a little bit and say, you know what, I have a different image for the show. There is still some things that are going to be happening um, throughout this season. It's going to be a little bit longer this time. It's like we're starting at the beginning in January, so that's a big freaking step. You know what I mean? And um, there's going to be certain changes that you guys are going to see. But I'm so glad you guys are back to see them because I am back. And yes, I am happy about it. As you can tell, I'm super excited. So, um, it's just me. It's just Brian B. Where everybody at? I don't know. Yo, but everybody's still here. We got people doing everything. Ah, T. Tiff. Yeah, T. Tiff is still here. You know, she's uh, going to be doing more, um, you know, background work on this season. She won't be on as much. Your boy's going to have a lot of different guests talking about a lot of different topics. You know, we're going to start today, actually. I'm actually already got a whole thing set up that I want to speak about. You know, um, took a little break, little time off. Really got me together to clear my head and, and like, you know, think about where I want to take the direction of the show at this point. So, um... With that being said, yo, thank you guys so much. We want to start off by saying, please, if you haven't already, like, share, and subscribe. Follow the channel. Woo! Ah, yo, I'm excited, yo. I got a lot of stuff going on. But follow the channel. Yo, um, you know, make sure you tell your friends. Hide your kids. Hide your what? Yo, tell everybody, you know what I'm saying? Tell everybody about what's going on over here Tuesday nights. Wait a minute. Wasn't there another show? There was another show. Oh, yeah. That's the show where we got the entertainment. Entertain. Yes, you know what it is. The B-Line Entertainment. Yo, that's back too. I didn't even know that I was going to kind of take a break from the B-Line Entertainment when I first um, decided to, you know, cut the B-Line web show down. But the B-Line Entertainment took a break as well. But that's back this week too. Brand new episode Thursday night on at 9 o'clock on the channel. And, um, you know, like I said, we, ain't, we don't have a guest yet, but there's a lot of entertainment news to talk about. Very popular stuff going on. There's a lot going on, isn't there? You know, we left off on season one. You know, we talked a lot about Kofi Mania. We talked a lot about Donald Trump. We talked a lot about all this stuff going on. But you want to know something? New year, new topics, new... No, no, no things to discuss. No, 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 new stuff going on. Yo, but we're here to talk about it. Straight to the point. Y'all remember that? I used to do that at the beginning. You know, that was like, you know, the big uh, catchphrase that I was going to do for the show. Um, straight to the point. Getting straight to the point. Down to the facts. Brass tacks. Whatever. But, um, you know, it kind of veered into a lot of different things. And I'm not talking about this this season on this show because I've talked about it a lot. Go back and watch all 40 episodes. That's right. It's about 40 episodes of the Beeline web show. It is now a podcast. I am giving in, and um, and especially now that we have the entertainment show, this is going to be mainly a podcast. This is going to be something that people can put in their ear and listen to while they're driving around at work and um, kind of just enjoy. You know, I'm trying to go to Spotify this season. I'm trying to do a lot of things. So it's going to be more just like a talkative, you know, people coming on and just having, you know, a general conversation about different things or whatever. And it's going to be very informative. I have a lot of guests lined up that are going to be coming on, stand-up comedians, um, songwriters. There's a lot of people that's going to be coming on with a lot of interesting stories. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Um 
one of the things I was doing in the first season was like, you know, I was adding a lot of stuff to the clips so you, it would make it more interesting to watch. And, you know, I hope you guys are still watching. You know, it's amazing. But uh, I definitely want to make this more of a conversational piece. So with that being said, yo, th like I said, thank you so much for following the channel. Um, I'm so excited to be back, you know, every single week. Once again, I'm back on it, back on it. Um, so first off, how was your holiday? It was great, right? You know what I'm saying? One of the things that was scary about hitting the end of the year for 2020 was like, you know, everybody was kind of worried about what was going to happen. You know what I mean? It was so much stuff going on and people were losing their jobs. And it was like, you know, how is anybody going to have a Christmas? How is anybody going to have a Thanksgiving? How is anybody going to have like all these things that we usually celebrate at the end of the year? It was a scary situation, but it was like one of the best things that I think that everything kind of got taught to us by all the stuff that happened, events that occurred, was that you kind of learn to appreciate things a lot more. The simpler things were like, you know, really beneficial. Um, in the Thanksgiving episode we did, we had a lot of guests that came back on and they, ooh, man, I got a gas or whatever in me right here. But um, a lot of people came back on and they sat there and like, you know, they were saying thankful for the health. Just being thankful for your family, you know what I'm saying? There's people that lost loved ones. There's people that went through so much this year, you know what I mean? Whether their business, their money, their source of income, you know? But at the end of the day, you know, there was a lot of people who were able to say, like, you know, thankful that I didn't lose these people. You know, I know me and IT Tiff were very grateful for that. You know, our kids were, um, grown. our kids, uh-oh, y'all remember baby Jordan. Ah, oh, my baby getting big. Yo, she loud now. She big. She run around. She run the house. So, um, you know, y'all saw Baby Jordan all the way back on um, episode 10 of the Beeline. And, um, yeah, she's big now, man. She's running around. She goes crazy and stuff like that. I don't know if you guys have been following, but that's just like a little nitpick I'm going to stick in there. Maybe this season, you know, follow up with Jordan. Maybe she'll come on with me every once in a while and kind of, like, talk with Daddy. But, um, yeah, you know, it was. it's just very interesting that I think a lot of people were able to appreciate a lot of things that were going on this year because, uh, you know, uh, maybe, maybe appreciate more. Like, you know, um, um, than what they might usually do. You know, a lot of times, you know, I talk to people and people are always talking about how, you know, the holidays are kind of commercialized and, you know, it's all about the businesses gaining money and this and that and all that. And be that as it may, I mean, it may be, but I mean, I do personally think that it's also a time for tradition and it's just like enjoyment. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, you don't do it all the time. It's at the end of the year for something to look forward to. It's a tradition. You know, you got little things with it and people celebrate it or they don't celebrate it. Everybody's entitled to their choice, but... It's definitely something that I look forward to every year, and um, I was definitely thankful that I could sit around with my family and, you know, be happy and grateful that we have what we have, and, um, you know, be appreciative. But, uh, yeah, it was very fun. I hope you guys had a great one. I hope you guys enjoyed the holiday episodes. I'll tell you one thing. Like I said before, I did the Halloween episode last season. I am going to do a phenomenal Halloween episode this season. I'm already thinking about it. It ain't nowhere near close to Halloween. <laughs> So shit, I, I'm telling you right now, I'm ready to go with the freaking wheels to the pavement, yo. I'm one, I'm, I'm going all the way through. But there are some things I want to talk about in this episode. Um, it probably isn't going to be too long. That's one of the changes that I'm going to be making to the show. It is going to be a little bit shorter. It is going to be unless it's an episode that calls for like you know a long conversation. I'm not cutting anything short, you know, um, on purpose. I'm just going to make sure, see if I can kind of like, you know, make sure I keep it in the general time state where it's like, you know, you guys got some time to really enjoy it and uh, uh, um, be a part of it as well. I want the comments. I want the likes. I want the shares. I want a lot of things to like really improve in this um, this time around. Um, uh, we're going to be getting new introduction. We're going to be getting a lot of new things. I didn't get a chance to do it yet, but it is coming. It's not finished. Um, yeah, I should say, but it is coming. There's a lot of new things coming to the show, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. You're going to see mm, 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 this face, this face back on social media. You're going to see me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, whatever. You're going to see me everywhere because you know your boy is back. I love it. Got the earphones falling out. I don't even care. But um, yeah, so um, welcome back episode. I wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, like we just touched on a little bit, you know, something we touched on a lot on uh, the older show. I was I've been listening to um, some, you know, early episodes of the show and kind of seeing where the improvements were and uh, things that we were talking about. And one of the biggest things we were talking about is like the business. The businesses, it was people with small businesses that were coming up. We had um, um, IT Tiff's sister on um, Cookie with the Bold View. And um, we were talking about like people doing their own thing. You know what I'm saying? That's been a big thing for me. Like ever since I started this, it's really showed me the importance of being able to make your own money and stop being a freaking slave to the clock, yo. And I know that's something that is easier said than done. But I do think that we are given enough tools in this age that we live in to really 
make that happen a lot easier than it probably would have been, you know, back in the day. All right, so let's see. First topic of discussion. Yo, so back in the day, you know, um, um, let's say when you were a kid, all right? We're going to go into business straight off the rip. Um, um, when you were a kid, okay, back in the day, I'm talking about, you know, for me, back in the day is the 90s. 90s, oh, one of the greatest time periods, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure everybody probably says that, but one of the greatest time periods of all, you know what I'm saying? So much nostalgia, so much like, you know, memories and stuff like that, and so much innovation, you know? Um, I always say a lot of times when people talk to me about, like, you know, my childhood and growing up when I grew up, we were the last kids to ever not have technology, we, we knew what it was like to go outside and get dirty. We knew what it was like to go outside and play with the neighborhood kids and meet people and, you know, come in, come in before the lights come on and all that shit or whatever. But um, we didn't have computers. We didn't have cell phones, you know, um, in the early stages. I'm talking about 8, 9, 10, 11, you know what I'm saying? That stuff didn't start coming until a little bit later, and they started bringing our attention to want to be more in the house, want to be more interactive with different people online. But um, we were outside playing. We were outside wrestling. We were outside like hide and seek, manhunt, all that stuff or whatever. So um, back in the day, when technology wasn't as like you know available as we have it now, um, you know what did you do when you wanted to make some money? You wanted to buy a little toy. You wanted to just have a little business, do something on your own. You started a lemonade stand. You know, you you went around and picked up newspapers. You shoveled snow. You 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 mowed the lawns. You know what I'm saying? Like you carried the old lady's groceries to a to a, to a, to a car in the supermarket. Like that was shit that people were doing back in the day to make money. You feel me? Believe it or not, that alone is starting a business. You know what I mean? It's very innovative. Like it's crazy how it's like you know we have so much technology and so many different things. Like you know you forget the basics. When you want to do something and you have an idea or you have a goal that you want to accomplish, it doesn't have to be extravagant. You can start very small. You feel me? Like if I didn't have like the setup and everything that I have now to where I have like, you know, I, I was blessed to be able to have the things that I have to, to, to have a decent show and you know what I'm saying? I can take my phone, do a little quick video anywhere. You know what I mean? I don't need a microphone. I don't need this. I don't need that to get my voice heard. It's easier now. You know what I mean? But I'm saying, if I wanted to do this, I could stand on the corner. I could stand on the corner and just talk, meet people to talk to, you know, give different ideas, bounce ideas off. There's different things that you can do to develop yourself. And I think that's what I kind of want to get across to people. You know what I mean? Maybe people who need to hear it. Because I think we're kind of lost a little bit in certain in certain certain ways, you know. I think that people really think that you have to have a lot to become something, or you have to have a lot to want to become something. I think that people are forgetting the basics, yo. You know, start that lemonade stand. You feel me? Especially now in the time period where it's like people that might have lost a lot of things. You know, I know a lot of people who are actually, you know, um, whether it be uh, people who are cooking dinners and they do it right out of their house. You know what I'm saying? They come home from work and they got like a little menu and they put it together and they go to work and they say, hey, I, I sell dinners. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to cook. Um, I know I'm branching off, but that's that that that's just me. Um, I I saw uh, uh, it was a damn I think it was a Craigslist advertisement and shit Craig I didn't know Craigslist exists anymore, but I saw a Craigslist advertisement and um the Craigslist advertisement was literally a guy was making hamburger helper meals. All right, now before y'all laugh, listen, okay, hamburger helper, cheeseburger, macaroni, the little the little glove that walked around with a mustache and shit, yo. The guy was making hamburger helper meals. He had a little, you know, um, styrofoam box. He put a little piece of, of, of bread with it, a roll with it, and he was selling them. He was selling them. Now, a lot of people, the way I saw that, I saw it because somebody was on Facebook, I believe, and they were clowning them. And they were clowning them. Now, think about it. Think about what this, guy's, what, what this guy was doing. He got something simple. You feel me? He got something simple. Maybe he made the best damn hamburger helper anybody ever had. You feel me? So it's like that one person that saw, yo, look, this nigga making hamburger help. I'm trying to sell dinners and shit. You feel me? But he took something simple, simplistic, easy, not expensive, something that he could do within his realm, and he hustled it. And I don't know if he became successful, but he took a chance. He took a chance. Just think of all the times that you get home and you might be too tired to cook, and it might be this, it might be that, it might be this reason, it might be that reason. It might be any reason. Where do you go? McDonald's, you go here, you go there, you spend twenty dollars here, you got a family, you know what I'm saying? You do all this different shit, spend all this money in the street or whatever. But then you got somebody in your neighborhood that might be selling, you know, dinners. Oh, I made uh, I made spaghetti. I got spaghetti meals on spaghetti and a piece of garlic bread. You know, come over, six dollars a plate. 
Six dollars a plate? Okay. You know, um, maybe you got a special ten dollars um, um 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 for a for a for a family box. You know what I mean? Get you a loaf of bread, fifteen dollars for for a family meal. Just think of that. Just think of that. Think of how many people get home and don't want to cook. You know what I'm saying? Take some people that want to sit there. That's innovation. That's progress. You feel me? Like somebody's making something work with limited options, maybe. Anything is possible, yo. You don't have to be a huge name, a huge deal, a big freaking, you know, um, 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 um expensive charges with, a, with with an accountant and shit. You just have to have a goal and a and a vision, and that's all you need to get started with something, man. I'm saying all this talking about like you know the importance of because like I said. Last year, man, it was really rough with businesses, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people built, you know, from the ground up their their establishments, and it got destroyed. It got destroyed at no fault of their own, you know what I mean? Whether they were thriving, whether they were, um, you know, struggling, whatever the, 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 the case may be, it got destroyed at no fault of their own. And I, and I just want people to understand, like... I don't, don't be discouraged from that. Don't, don't, and easier, way easier said than done. You know what I mean? I'm talking, I'm, I'm, that's more talking to the people who had in mind, like, you know, their opportunity that they want to accomplish. You know, um, we have, you know, small things, um, um, things that we want to do now in today's world where it's easy to, um, it's easier, easier. I don't want to say easy. This shit is not easy. Let me say that. But, um, it's very much easier to accomplish something, get your name out there, get your face out there consistently, you know, very, very simply by just picking up the device in your hand, taking a picture, taking a video and throwing it on social media. Somebody's going to see it. You know what I mean? Like it was harder before because you didn't have that, you know, accessory. You didn't have that um, 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 device that would help, you know, publicize yourself. So you had to work harder. You had to make a flyer. You had to do this. You had to do that. You had to talk to people. You had to get your name out that way. But now it's a little easier to get things done. You know what I mean? One of the biggest things I think with business is getting your name out. And that's what I'm learning with the beeline. Like getting the beeline's name out. So when somebody hears the beeline, they say, yeah, I saw that somewhere. You know what I mean? Like that's one of the most important things. So Start your businesses, man. Don't be discouraged by the shit that's been happening. You know what I'm saying? I know the president is crazy. I know we got all this stuff and people storming up, you know, um, uh, <laughs> got militias and shit. Like, you know, going to the Capitol building and, yo, it's a crazy time. You know what I mean? The world is crazy right now. But, um, yo, it's still room for development. It's still room for, for change. All you have to do is pay attention to what is going on. And, and and make your moves around it. If you do have to be that person making hamburger helping in your house, make hamburger help in your house. Take it to your job. Yo, I, I make this hamburger helper. Check it out. I make dinners. Bam, let somebody sample it. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's a lot of things that can be done to get you into a closer place to the goals you want to be obtained. You know what I mean? And I'm learning that shit on my own. You feel me? Like That's why I want to talk about it. You know what I mean? It's like... There's been a lot of changes that's happened recently, and it's discouraged a lot of people. I've been hearing so much talk. You know, um, I'm in a place where I'm trying to, you know, change my career path. You know what I mean? Like, not even with just the beeline, but just, like, things that I have to do outside of the beeline, you know, just to keep money coming in until I hopefully can be successful doing something with this. So, you know, getting um, enough publicity to, um, you know, not have to need an outside source besides just this career choice that I want to make. Um, but it's a lot of people getting discouraged from things that are going on right now, yo. And it's, it's understandable, but, um, I'm trying to come back on here. Like I said, it's going to be more of a podcast this time around. And, and whenever I get a chance to like kind of do it on my own, I want to talk about some things that are on my mind. You know, that was the way, the reason why this whole thing started. I wanted to speak from my, my point of view, you know, um, and whoever heard it and whoever liked it, you know, those are the people that are following. Like, that's that's what I'm talking to. You feel me? Like, you know, I do want to grasp, you know, attention of people in all areas. But, I mean, that's why I wanted to start the entertainment show. Because I think the entertainment show is going to be a lot more for people who are going to watch for a purpose. You know what I mean? Watch to be entertained. Watch to see what's next. Watch to see what what, what new artists or new um you know, celebrities coming out and everything. You know, Chef Rel, you know, I was just talking to him, and he's actually going to be coming back on this season, and he's going to do a whole cooking show. He's going to um, come on, and he's going to cook for us, and he's going to show us, like, you know, the meals that he's making and stuff like that from his house, and it's going to be awesome. So uh, we're going to have a lot of stuff going on like that. You know, Lamar Tyree kind of closed out the entertainment show. He was the last episode we had. He's doing really good with his music. Um, 
there's been a lot of things that's that's happened. You know, Player Suede, he was on I saw on um Instagram recently, he's over here. He got a uh, um he's on like a, a a charts list, like number his 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 song um on price tag. You know, people is downloading it and paying attention to it and he's on a freaking um a charts, like top ten, I think. So he's doing amazing, you know what I mean? It's a lot of people doing their thing out here, you know what I mean? It's awesome, you know. But uh that was just one thing I wanted to talk about, you know, the business side or whatever. Another thing I definitely wanted to talk about in this episode, the beginning episode, and um, it's going to be a lot more, you know, just to break off again, it's going to be a lot more going on where, like I said, we're going to have guests on. It's going to be a lot of a lot of people talking, but I am going to take these times to kind of dis- to discuss what I want to discuss this season. I kind of got away from it last season because I was trying to build an audience, but I don't think I was being true to myself fully because... That's not what I started this for. I think that if I start this and do it the way that I've envisioned it and just do it for the purposes that I wanted to do it, I think it's going to go further than, 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 than if I'm trying to make it. You know, if that makes any sense. I definitely, I definitely enjoyed it. Like, I definitely think I did the right thing. But, but I want this more for like a platform of why I want to speak, what I want to speak about. And um, another thing I want to talk about is, uh, you know, the, the shit that I've been noticing with relationships. Oh, yeah, that's a heavy topic, you know, and there's definitely going to be a couple of episodes this season. I'll tell you right now where we're talking about, you know, relationships and the uh, the changes that I've that that I'm noticing, you know, that's happening as I'm getting older with relationships and just like and I'm not even just talking about relationships with, um, you know, the, the your significant other or your wife or your husband or whatever. I'm talking about relationships like with your job. I'm talking about relationships with your friends, relationship with your family. Like the uh the uh the distance that is, you know, really being noticed at this point. I guess if people are paying attention because of the, you know, the the pandemic, because of um just, you know, the internet alone. I've talked about it previously about other things where it's like social media. And the effects of people like kind of being distanced to each other because you, you see somebody living their life on Facebook or you see somebody living their life on Instagram and you kind of, you know, make your assessment. Oh, they're all right. They're alive. <laughs> they got a picture at fucking um, Six Flags. They're fine. You know what I mean? But you don't really reach out as much to talk to that person. You don't really reach out as much to sit there and really see what's going on because a lot of times people will post the good stuff, but they'll hide the bad stuff. And, um, you know, unless you reach out and try to like make somebody know, hey, how you doing? Like, you know, I miss you. I want to talk to you. Like, how are you been? Like, you know, you're important in my life. Like, you know, people ain't really, ain't really doing that like as much now. And, and and social media is good for that, but um, it's definitely you know the intent for remembering to talk to the people that are important to you. I think that that's really dying off, man. I think it's dying off unless you got the people that are close to you. For the people who are important to keep around in your life, I think that that's kind of being forgotten about. Because of those reasons, you can always check up on somebody. But, um, you know, I think it's very important for uh, us to start remembering, like, you know, relationships are work. You know what I mean? Like, you can sit here and, you know, be dating somebody. And at this point, I know I've talked about this before, but it's important. Like, at this point, you can sit here and be dating somebody or, you know, talking to somebody or even a family member and, like, you know, you talk to them one time and then, bam, you don't talk to them anymore. You, like, like you wait, like, six, seven months, eight months, nine months down the road or, or it's a funeral. That's a big one, this shit. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a funeral. And you all got to dress up together and be sad together. But um, a lot of times the people aren't, like, and maybe I'm categorizing it, like, you know, personally because, um, but it's from what I'm seeing. It's not just from my own experience. Um, well, at least my personal experience, but I've seen it and I've noticed it in different, um, you know, situations or whatever. But, um, there's a lot of times where it's like, you know, you don't really, um, put in the work that's necessary for, um, you know, your, 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 your relationship romantically or your romantic, your relationship with, uh, your family. And, um, if anything, this pandemic has showed us like, you know, we have to start, you know, um, um, really, really paying attention to the humanity aspect of, you know, dealing with people, you know. Um, one of the biggest things, you know, you see a lot of fighting and, and uh, conversations going on. And I, and I just listened to this on a podcast, and that's the reason why it kind of is, like, fresh on my head. But um, that's why I want to talk about it, because it's important, yo. But um, one of the things you see going on is, like, you know, everybody who's trying to cor- make corrections to how people speak and make corrections to how people look at things or how um, people's opinions are. 
And um, don't get me wrong, yo. I definitely do. Um, I, I don't think that anybody should be hateful. I don't think that anybody should be, you know, speaking negatively towards um, another person, making them feel um, bad about themselves, making them feel awkward. But I, I do believe in the right for people to feel how they want to feel. You know what I mean? Now, there's limitations. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should be respectful. I think that's the the the, the word that people kind of get lost in those kind of conversations. I have the right to say what I want. I have the right to do what I want. But at the same time, everybody should have the right to be respectful. You feel me? Like, you should never, ever... You know, just because you can say something or just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should um, um, you should make anybody feel, you know, a type of way because of that action alone. You know what I mean? Just because you have the right to do something doesn't make it doesn't validate it. You feel me? Like, you know, it's not a law against the shit. Like, nobody's got a law to where you have to be respectful. You have to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, cops will arrest you. Come to your house. But literally, like, you know, one of the biggest things is it's like the humanity, bro, is, is, is what's broken lately. And I'm not trying to sound like a damn philosopher or nothing like that or whatever, but it's just there's a lot of people who are really ignoring, you know, the fact that everybody's different. Everybody's different, yo. You may somebody find somebody who's like you. You may have friends that do the same things you do. But everybody's different, man. Everybody has their own thought process everybody has their own likes their own dislikes and people have the right to that at the end of the day i don't give a fuck if it's something that you know is small minimal whatever everybody has a right to that and i think that's what people need to start understanding more than anything you don't have the right to sit there and and silence somebody because you don't like them that it, it, it makes no sense man and like i said i i heard this on a podcast and the reason why, of course, Joe Rogan, like, I'm, listen, I'm still listening to Joe Rogan, you know, that's my boy, like, he, 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 serious shit, you know what I mean, serious shit, he talks about a lot of really good things, there's a lot of good guests on that talk about, like, really, like, you know, make you think a little bit, like, if you want to, you know, see, you know, some people don't like to think a little bit, you know, some people just like to be entertained, you feel me, some people just like to, you know, be in their own world or whatever, and think about what they want to think about, but I think the respect issue is really what everybody is kind of got to pay more attention to you don't have to silence people that don't think the way you do you don't have to um you don't have to acknowledge people who don't think the way you do i understand it's not right for people to do that and i'm not saying that everybody should just be able to be free and just hey f you i'll do this whatever whatever you know if, if, you, if you guys haven't noticed your boy this season you know it's, it's not it's not because of complaints it's not because anything i'm trying to i'm trying to grow a little bit you feel me like you know i, I want my i want my videos to reach a a, a wider audience and um, I'm trying not to curse as much, so that's hard for me. I'm coming from Jersey. I'm from Lisbon, New Jersey, and um, you know, cursing is like you know that's second nature. You feel me? Like it's something about that curse word that just pushes your damn your 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 speech to like a whole other level. And shit. <laughs> like it takes your whole. I don't care what you're doing tomorrow. I don't give a fuck what you do. <laughs> It just puts your whole speech like a whole other level, you know what I mean? But I'm trying to kind of like, you know, be a little different this season. Like, this season is going to be pretty interesting, yo. We got a lot of stuff going on. Um, This is just like the introduction episode, you know. It's actually Tuesday. Today, I'm actually recording this before I put it out today. But um, I hope you guys watch it. I hope you guys are like, oh, Brian Beer's back. He's crazy as ever. Yeah, I'm crazy still. But um, I got some intellect, man. I'm really paying attention, yo. It was a really good thing to take this damn time off and kind of recollect what I want to really come back and do with the show. It's going to be really entertaining. I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. But um, anyway, like we were saying, it's just like, I was saying all of that basically just to talk about like the relationships that we have with the people that we care about, you know what I'm saying? Or the people that we have to, you know, deal with. And um, it kind of, you know, goes back to business too. Because like, you know, in business, you know, if you want to have a successful business, you want to accommodate to everybody. You know what I mean? You want everybody to be able to come into your, you know, your 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 place of business and and um take something from it, have something from it. Because that's going to bring you profit. You know what I mean? That's going to bring you balance. It's going to bring you um um success. So, um you know, if you want to declassify a group of people because you don't like something about them, that's taken away from you. You feel me? Like, it, it might seem, like, small and shit like that or whatever, but at the same time, it is happening. So, I think that we do need to really pay attention this year, you know, starting this year, our first show of this year. I'm definitely trying to bring some positivity 
two people's ears. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't going to always be like this. It's going to be a lot of stuff that I talk about where I'm on a slanted lean. You feel me? Like, you know, <laughs> I ain't no damn saint. But um, I do believe that, uh, you know, it's very important to start, you know, paying attention to the relationships you have with the people you care about, with people you love, you know, and make sure that you understand that it takes work. It takes work to keep these things alive. It takes work to go into work every day. Discipline is something that your boy is really learning um, a lot more of. Brian B., I've always been kind of reckless. I've always been kind of running loose. You know, um, I like to do what I want to do. Um, I don't like things holding me back. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I'm starting to understand the importance of not feeling like you're being held back, but understanding the importance of everything you want to do ain't, ain't, ain't best for you. Everything you want to do isn't what you're supposed to be doing. I think that's the most, that's even more important. And um, I'm learning that, you know what I mean? I'm learning that through trial and error, you know, a, a lot of the time. But um, it is it is different ways that I'm trying to approach life. You know, every year I try to grow a little bit, and I hope you guys do too. Um, you know, the, year is, uh, the, the beginning of the year is the easiest time to kind of hit a reset for yourself. You know, yeah, it's not really... It's not really like a, a huge change. It's not like, you know, everything happens, but it is, it could be your own personal, like an easy time stamp to like be like, all right, I did that last year. Let's see what we can do this year. You know what I mean? It's an easy transition. So, um, you know, better yourself. Use this year to better yourself. We went through a lot of shit. We did a lot of things. Make goals. You know what I'm saying? Establish what you want to do. I think if anything should have showed everybody, um, what was going on from this whole, you know, pandemic and new way of life that everybody's wearing a mask everywhere you go, like Halloween. <laughs> but, I mean, figure out what you want next. Figure out what's next for you. You know what I mean? Like, let's take time to say we had a shitty year. It's still stuff going on. But you can't keep living like, oh, well, you know, tragedy, you know, bad thing, government, whatever. You got to start paying more attention. I think people people in general I'm talking about need to start paying more attention. What do you need? What do you need? What are you going to do to overcome these bad things going on? You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of things that personally people I think people can make better decisions. Stop paying so much attention to the negativity. Stop paying so much attention to the 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 problems and and, and what comes from the problems and start paying attention to what do you want to do, man? All right, you know this is going on. You know it's COVID mania out here. But I'm saying, what do you want to do? Even if it, if even if COVID mania or not, what do you want to do? What changes can you do? Can you get some hamburger helper and and, and, and serve the fucking community? Like, <laughs> you know, my man was doing it. You making fun of him and shit, but he was cooking it up and putting it in the plot. I, I bet you somebody, yo, I bet you somebody bought it. Listen, I, who bought it? Yo, hit your boy up. I, I want to know who bought it. But um. I'll make some hamburger helper and five. I'm, I'm about to go make a hamburger helper right now. <laughs> I'm not even bullshitting. But, yo, it's interesting, man. I think that we should all take this year, if anything, if your boy, if you listen to your boy, take this year and really figure out what's next. What's next for you, bro? Not what's next for everybody. What's next for you? Pay attention to what you what you need to be paying attention to. Not what you think you should be paying attention to. Not what people want you to not what you feel guilted into paying attention to pay attention into what you need to pay attention to you know and i really think that that's something that's going to help us get through these challenging times you know what i mean let's start forgetting about these challenging times let's just start living through them we going through them thinking about them and stressing about them ain't going to do shit for nobody let's start making the best of it you know and that's one of the things that i really want to you know kind of enjoy myself too you know what i mean i want to i want to i want to make sure i'm understanding that as well like and that's why i'm saying like you know this year i'm definitely going to make the best of this show and this show for me is my future it is my life at this point you know what i'm saying like i got a family i got everything but this show is a part of me at this point and i'm going to come on here every tuesday every thursday with a guest without a guest with it tiff without it tiff you know whenever whatever and i'm going to bring you guys the best of brian b and i'm only going to evolve and I'm not going to go for, and I'm not going to go backwards. I'm about to say forwards, but I'm not going to go backwards. Yo. I'm going to keep it coming and we're going to have a great year. And I hope you guys are here with me. Like I said, please like, share, subscribe. Um, you're going to see this all over. It's coming out tonight. Yes, it is tonight. You know, I'm going to put this out in a couple hours at this point. But um, thank you guys so much for the love and the support. And um, I know I'm a part of a whole bunch of different groups on Facebook. And um, 
I'm, I'm trying to, uh, you know, spread my name even more. You know what I'm saying? I got 120 followers on my YouTube page at this point, which is amazing. I think I got like 700 followers on my Facebook channel, which is freaking phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. But, um, yeah, yo, we're going to do this thing. Brand new year, 2021, baby. The Beeline. Yes. Beeline Entertainment out Thursday night, 9 p.m. It's going to be no guests. It's going to be Matt, me back here. But I got a lot of things that I want to talk about as far as like in the entertain, entertainment industry. So uh, it's going to be amazing, yo. We're going to do this thing. And guess what? We back at it. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to, um, damn, you know, I was thinking, I was thinking of um, like, share, subscribe. It's all these threes. You feel me? But to close out the show, we're going to stay true. Stay positive. And as always, one of the most important things, you know, I, I, I've never really explained why I say this at the end of every show. And I'm going to probably cut this out and make this a little side clip because I want people to understand. The reason why I say stay, stay true is because you ain't fooling nobody but yourself for the most part if you being fake. You being fake, you out there pretending you're somebody you're not. Um, um, trying to put on a front that 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 really isn't carrying over behind closed doors. It ain't doing shit for you. You know, if you want to be faked, being fake is you. So I'm pretty much that's pretty much the truth at that point. The truth is you fake. <laughs> it's easier to be you. Don't be scared to be you. Don't be scared to be the person that you are. You know what I mean? Stay true. It's the easiest shit you can possibly do. Stay positive. That's not always so easy. <laughs> Staying positive isn't always that easy, especially when there's a lot of things that seem like it just keeps getting you down, pulling you down in the fucking hole. You know what I mean? But, I mean, at the end of the day, staying positive is something that's necessary. And your boy is learning it as well, man, because I'm one of the ones. If something goes bad, I'm ready to uh, fight it all. Like, you know, I, I, you know, whatever. But I'm starting to learn how to take the negative thoughts and remember the good stuff. You know, that helps me. Remember the good things. Remember what I do have even though this is messing up. You know, that helps me kind of, you know, get back on like a straight path because, you know, you, you can get, you know, um, you know, d d d deterred into a different situation if you just focus on what's going bad for you. And I think that's important to know right now, especially in the times we're in right now. But stay positive, man. Make sure you're thinking good. Yeah, yeah, your car broke down. But check it out. You had a car. It got you a job. Do what you got to do to get to the next step. You feel me? You was able to get to that step. So, you know, you could do it. You know, it might be hard, it might be trying, it might be times to be bad. You had a job, you lost it. Do what you got to do to get to the next job. Look at the look at the bright side. You don't have to go to the job no more. You've got virtual interviews, you got Indeed, you got Snapchat, you got whatever, all this shit. And you can just get on there and find you know, your friends down the street, whatever. Back to relationship, back to goals. You feel me? It all connects. It all connects. But stay positive, man. You got to just think to, towards, forward, you feel me? Not negative, backwards. But, um, and, you know, most of all, pay attention. Pay attention. I preach pay attention to my kids so much. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to be super shocked if they don't get that shit as a tattoo um, somewhere in their body when they get older. Because I say pay attention so often in this house that um, I know they're listening. You know what I mean? They ain't following it as hard yet. But, you know, kids, they just going to do whatever. But paying attention is one of the most important things that you're ever going to do in your life. Whether it be just going to your car, whether it be what you're doing at work, whether it be what you're doing in your relationship, you can't be um, 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 oblivious to the shit that's going on around you. Because if, when you're oblivious, you don't know what's going on. You ain't paying attention. You literally walking around blindfolded. And the problem with that is you ain't seeing what's going on. You ain't seeing what's going on. You don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. You ain't in the mix. Simple as that. Paying attention is, has taught me in my life, if I'm not paying attention to what's going on around me, it's, like, it's likely that it's going to be danger around me. It's going to be bad things around me. It's going to be things that I'm getting myself into that I shouldn't be. You feel me? Because I'm not noticing the different changes that I should be making to not be involved in those. So paying attention is very important to me, yo. That's one of the things I preach heavily. You know, I'm not just saying it as a, as, as a catchphrase at the, end of, at the end of the show. I'm saying it literally because that's what I believe. So stay true. Stay positive. Pay attention. Guess what? Your boy Brian B is back. Like, share, subscribe on the channel. And we're going to be back Tuesday nights, 9 p.m. Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Right here in the Beeline Studios. I love y'all. Holla at your boy.